stomping out the coronavirus one step and spray at a time. In Moscow, public spaces are being swept with disinfectant. Mask requirements have been stepped up. And above all, residents of the Russian capital have been given an extended holiday. The city's mayor said all non-essential workers must take the coming week off, as cases have more than doubled. The latest news worries me from a social and economic point of view. I am a mother of two children. It scares me. I'm fearful. It is sad that people can't enjoy life as much. Especially with the weather like this. But what should I be afraid of? I'm vaccinated. Vladimir Putin said Saturday 18 million Russians have been vaccinated, or 12 percent of the population. It's a relatively low rate, considering Russia was the first country to roll out a vaccine. Back in April, the Kremlin spokesman said the low rate was due to a lack of demand and not supply issues. But Russia has also struggled to fill export orders of its Sputnik vaccine. With a 70 percent jump in cases in the past week and nearly 80 percent of intensive care beds filled, doctors in Moscow say the situation has intensified. Lots of young and old people have started arriving. The reason is that young people don't seek medical help in time, so decreasing the trend is much tougher. Russia has long grappled with widespread vaccine skepticism and a deep mistrust in state health services. Polls show that over 40 percent of Russians say they won't, under any circumstance, be vaccinated.